Welcome to Piston Pundit, your ultimate pit stop for all things automotive. Today, we're plugging into the world of used EVs. They're hitting the market at lower prices than ever, tempting buyers with the allure of affordable electrification. But why do EVs shed value so quickly? We're charging through the hype to uncover seven shocking reasons why used electric cars might just be the market's biggest markdown mystery. Reason number seven, the depreciation dilemma. When it comes to pre-loved EVs, depreciation is a deal breaker. Research by IC Cars reveals that EVs suffer the worst hit in resale value among all vehicle types, plummeting by 49.1% within five years. Hybrids fare better, shedding 37% in value over the same time frame. Another study paints a grim picture for EVs, showing a 31.8% price drop for one to five-year-old models over just one year, dwarfing the mere 3.6% dip for internal combustion counterparts. This depreciation disaster stems from the breakneck pace of innovation in EV technology. Newer models boasting superior specs and extended ranges render their predecessors outdated at lightning speed. Battery life concerns and hefty replacement costs add to buyer hesitancy, further tanking used EV demand and value. For those eyeing a used EV, it's crucial to consider these long-term financial impacts. What seems like a bargain now could charge up regret later with its rapid value decline. Reason number six, tech turnover turmoil. In the fast lane of technology, EVs are accelerating at warp speed. This rapid evolution sparks buyer's remorse as today's prized models become tomorrow's relics. The main culprit? Battery tech advancements that leave older EVs in the dust. Take energy density and range. Newer batteries pack more power and last longer. Enhanced chemistries and management systems also boost durability and longevity. And let's talk charging. Today's models slash charging times dramatically compared to their ancestors. Consider this. A five-year-old EV like the 2019 Chevy Bolt charges at 50 kilowatts, adding about 90 miles and 30 minutes via DC fast charging. Impressive then, but now, the Hyundai Ioniq 6 laughs with its 350 kilowatt fast charging, juicing up 90 miles in just seven minutes. With such rapid tech turnover, older models like the Bolt risk becoming relics before you know it. Why gamble on an aging EV that could depreciate to less than its battery replacement cost? Reason number five, the costly conundrum of EV repairs. EV manufacturers often tout long warranties as a testament to their vehicle's quality, surpassing those of ICE cars. This assurance is appealing, but what happens when warranties expire is a concern for used EV buyers. Many sell their cars as the warranty nears its end, leaving new owners facing potential high repair costs. Contrary to popular belief, EVs aren't necessarily cheaper to maintain. They may have fewer moving parts, but a consumer report survey reveals they're 80% more problematic than gas cars. The scarcity of specialized EV mechanics exacerbates repair costs. Moreover, EV construction often necessitates complete part replacements rather than repairs, with even minor collisions leading to costly battery housing damages. High-tech reliance and the need for ongoing software updates add to the uncertainty and potential expenses in the long run. Before we delve deeper, do us a favor and smash that like and subscribe button. This helps us reach more auto enthusiasts just like you. Now let's shift gears and steer towards our next point. Reason number four, the buyer breakdown. The surge in the EV market is largely attributed to early adopters and affluent households for whom price and running costs are less of a concern. These consumers typically don't opt for used vehicles, which narrows the scope of the used EV market. The demographic that might consider a used EV, middle and working class families, has been slow to adopt electric vehicles due to various perceived disadvantages. For these potential buyers, issues such as charging logistics, range anxiety and high repair costs dampen the appeal of EVs. They often rely on a single vehicle, and prioritize affordability and reliability over cutting-edge technology or environmental benefits. Consequently, they tend to gravitate towards gasoline-powered cars with established technology that offers a sense of reliability. 
Their purchasing decisions are rooted in practicality rather than a pursuit of innovation or sustainability. This cautious approach suggests that the used EV market may not see significant growth among these households in the near future. Reason number three, the electric elephant in the room. While more affordable, used EVs carry concerns that deter buyers, much like new ones. They're often seen as more problematic than ICE vehicles due to issues like range anxiety, exacerbated in older models by battery degradation and obsolete tech. This is particularly limiting for those who travel long distances. Charging infrastructure, or the lack thereof, fuels this anxiety, regardless of the EV's age. The limited availability of charging stations, especially in rural areas, and the lengthy charging times necessitate lifestyle changes, making buyers hesitant. Concerns over battery life and the potential cost of replacement are greater with used EVs. Additionally, their rapid depreciation and the pace of tech advancements affect resale value. High running costs, pricier insurance, and a scarcity of qualified technicians are further considerations. Past limitations on model variety and the outdated futuristic design of older EVs also dissuade buyers. Today's preference for conventional-looking EVs highlights these issues. Collectively, these factors lead many to steer clear of used EVs. Reason number two, the battery barrier. The battery, often comprising over 30% of an EV's value, is its most crucial and costly component. Automakers typically offer extensive warranties for this part, around eight years or 100,000 miles. However, for used EVs, battery replacement looms closer as warranties approach their end, and there's no standardized method to accurately gauge battery health. Although battery cell quality can be somewhat assessed, real-world data suggests they degrade faster than manufacturers claim. For instance, Tesla, dominating over half of the US EV market, promises 70% capacity retention after a decade. Yet, a Gizmodo.eu study on over 12,000 Tesla Model 3 and Model Y vehicles showed a range reduction to 64% of the EPA's original estimate in just three years. This significant drop in range underscores why battery health remains the top concern for prospective EV buyers. Reason number one, the charging challenge. Charging infrastructure compatibility is a pivotal concern for prospective used EV buyers. A consumer report survey from 2022 underscores that 61% of consumers are hesitant to purchase or lease an EV, primarily due to the complexities surrounding charging logistics. The issue at hand is that older EV models may not align with the capabilities of the latest fast charging stations, which are designed to replenish newer models rapidly. This mismatch can result in protracted charging durations and a decline in convenience for owners of used EVs, who might face difficulties locating compatible charging facilities. With technological advancements, public charging infrastructures are frequently updated to accommodate newer models, which could inadvertently marginalize older EVs. Such an evolution could precipitate a scarcity of suitable charging options, compelling owners of used EVs to resort to home charging or to seek out antiquated public stations that may lack proper maintenance. Compounding this inconvenience is the reality that older EVs generally have reduced ranges and necessitate more frequent charging sessions, thereby eroding the attractiveness of acquiring a used electric vehicle. And that wraps up our deep dive into the electric vehicle market. Don't let your journey end here. Join the Piston Pundit community by hitting that subscribe button. See you next time.